So we are in line five, and it says, Because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. All right, so remember, he's going to repay everybody, whether it's good or bad, uh, for their deeds, for their work. And then, um, because they do not regard the works of the Lord, nor the operation of his hands, he shall destroy them and not build them up. And so let's look at Isaiah 5, 12. <clears throat> Isaiah 5, 12, that says, The harp and the strings, the tamarind and flute, and wine are in their feasts, but they do not regard the work of the Lord, nor consider the operation of his hands. So they have in all these things, having a jolly good old time, but they're still not considering the Lord's uh, work. And so, and it gives us reference scripture uh, for Isaiah 5, 12 to Amos 6, 5. That says, Who chant to the sound of stringed instruments and invent for the, yourselves musical instruments like David. All right, so they, they're joining. Um, they have these little chants to the sound instrument. And then, um, okay, that's for that one. Because this is dealing with the war of judgment. Wow. Okay, so. But I could go ahead and read. It only gave me 6-5. I guess it's just for the, the show to show us about the string instruments. But this kind of almost takes on what uh Psalm um <clears throat> I mean Isaiah 5 12 was saying, which says he uh go back to five and Amos, six five. He, who chant to the sound of string instruments and invent for yourselves musical instruments like David, who drink wine from bowls and anoint yourselves with the best anointments, but are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Therefore, they should now go captive as the first of the captives, and those who recline at banquets shall be removed. All right. And so um, then it says in eight, the Lord God has sworn by himself. The Lord God of hosts says, I abhor the pride of Jacob and hate his palaces. Therefore, I will deliver up the city and all that is in it. All right. So he give us uh, that one. And then it also gives us, Isaiah 5, 12 gives us Job 34, 27. That says, because they turned back from him and would not consider any of his ways. And in the and God doesn't like that. That's just like total selfishness. You're not considering anything that the Lord is doing. And um, that does not please him at all. And so what happened is, you know, he instead of building you up, you're going to be destroyed. And let's move into our final stanza, line six. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. The Lord is my strength and my help. Excuse me. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. The Lord is their strength, and he is a saving refuge of his anointed. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them also, and bear them up forever. All right, so let's go back to line six, and let's uh, talk about it. So, blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. So now, you know, this is uh, our final stanza. David got his answer. And so being that he got his answer, he's blessing the Lord. So he says, blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the voice of my supplications. He heard the voice of his request. The Lord is my strength and my shield. All right. And so it gives us a reference scripture back to 18.2, Psalm 18.2. That says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. And indeed he is. When he comes through like that, he's all of those things and more. All right. And you can't help but to rejoice and you can't help but to give him praise. And then it, he, <clears throat> we also have a, a reference scripture to Psalm 59. Uh, 17 that says to you oh my strength 
I will sing praises for God is my defense, the God of my mercy. All right. And, and then so moving into, uh, <clears throat> so it says my heart, the Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him and I am helped. And so, therefore, my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song, I will praise him. And so, let's look at Psalm 13, 5, quickly. That says, there they are in great fear, for God is with the generation of the righteous. And he is. You continue to be right, and right is going to always follow you. God is going to always be there. And then Psalm 112, 7. Psalm 112, 7, that says he would not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. So you can't be afraid of evil. Well, you know God is going to come through you, come through for you and hear your prayer and hear your cry. And so we'll wrap it up in the next segment.